Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to Xdex. Today I have a very special treat for you. One, I'm going to be teaching the tutorial for this move called Flip Flop. It is a prerequisite to a move that I taught last week called Frankie. And so if you're having trouble learning Frankie, this move should help you a ton. It's a one hand move and it looks a little something like this. Um, like I said before, it's a one handed move, but it's also taught uh, using the Erdnay's go round grip. So if you learned that move before, that's a good one to learn. But I'm going to walk you through complete verbally over the shoulder uh, in I'm going to teach you like that in this tutorial. And here's a second surprise. So for the end of the video, we're going to be giving away one of our lo-fi, not half brick boxes because it contains four decks, but our collector's boom box. And if you haven't seen this, it plays music. So that's super cool. And also, uh, because of the time you see, you've seen this, uh, because of when I'm shooting this video, the trailer and the Kickstarter will already be live. So I'm going to put that in the description of this video and you guys will be able to go help fund our Kickstarter. Now I should explain these lo-fi decks have already been produced. So you won't be expecting a long thing in shipping. They're already made. Uh, we just wanted to try to reach a different audience using Kickstarter. So that's why we chose to do that. So we hope you like our Kickstarter campaign. Go check out the trailer, all the pictures and whatever. Please support the deck. We'd love for you to buy some, uh, but they are already funded. So if you buy one, you will get one. Um, and yeah, so we're hoping you guys would enjoy it uh, to win to win the giveaway to enter. I should say uh, you should either tell me a tutorial of mine you've liked or one you'd like to see in the future or just some random comment. But those are the ones I prefer. Like the video um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that would be awesome. And that's a ton of rambling. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial for flip flop. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get started with the tutorial for Flip Flop. If you didn't see the preview, Flip Flop looks a little something like this. It is a very fun one-handed fidget move, and you can combine it with a whole bunch of other things, like in my previous video, combining it with this to make Frankie. So if you guys want to go learn that, you can find it at the end of this video. So let's get started. Um, to start with the tutorial, it's actually pretty easy, um, or it's fairly simple. I don't know if it's easy. It is simple, though. Uh, what you want to do is grip the deck. If you guys know dealer's grip, you guys are going to do an adjusted dealer's grip that looks like this. So you're going to have it sit into the heel of your hand like this. Um, and you're going to have your index finger riding a long ways across the front, middle and ring on the, on the long side, pinky on the back. So it looks like this. What you're going to do here is this middle finger and this ring finger and kind of the pinky are going to push the deck up really like that it's going to look like kind of like the spider-man web slinging thing um, and you're going to have the middle and ring finger push up into that position uh, you want your pinky to be pretty close and if you can um, your pinky can grab onto it later but i would actually just recommend you trying to lift it up while the pinky is still there so you should be lifting up into this position your pinky will be down your middle finger and ring finger will be pushing into the deck the thumb will now be on top in this shape and the index finger will be free um, if you know an Erdnay's go round, this is how uh, it starts. So you're going to go into this version of dealer's grip with your pinky at the bottom. Your thumb is going to come over top. You can go over almost at a 45 degree angle. Essentially whatever makes your thumb comfortable to grip the top of this so that you can do this. You'll have uh, whatever this piece is, this between these two knuckles of your pinky is where you're going to put this, pe this piece of the deck. So it's going to ride like that and your pinky will curl over so you're adjusted like this. Your other three fingers should be able to flex and move independently of these. You should be able to do this. Uh, obviously, if you don't have the dexterity that I have, I've been doing this for 10 years, so don't hold yourself to that standard. But what you're gonna wanna do is take your middle and your ring finger and curl them in like this so that your first knuckle, uh, this set of knuckles is now perpendicular to the deck like this. So your first knuckle is curled in your first piece of your knuckle so your nails are touching the back side of the deck like this with your index finger you're going to reach over and pull i would say as much of the deck as you can grab um, maybe a third is probably good i don't usually figure out how much i do of this it might even be a fourth a third or a fourth of the deck depending on what's comfortable for you um, and you're going to peel that off like that and it's going to break off into a greater than symbol or like a v you guys see the v shape in here uh, that should be helpful for you so essentially hold it here with the nails touching the back, your index finger is going to pull about a fourth and you're gonna see this V. Now what's gonna happen is this part, this long part of the packet down here in the V is going to start clearing and sliding along the bottom like this. That's what you're gonna to wanna to start to happen. Uh, so if you guys watch it from the side view, as I pull out, you're actually gonna get almost the lower half of the deck to flex out first 
um, and then it'll end up between your index and your thumb. And then we'll continue on from there and show you guys the one hand cut. So what you do also, sorry if you guys can hear the bath in the background, I think someone's running a bath for my dog upstairs. Um, so, so excuse that, sorry. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is curl those fingers under, index pulls out, and what happens is these fingers here, when they make contact, you want um, the nails in, if you can, on the bottom edge here uh, of the packet so that you are gripping like that. So they should be, if this is the top half of the bottom of the face, or the face on the deck, I'm sorry, the top half of the face, that was super confusing, um, then what you're going to wanna do is those fingers are gonna curl out like this and push this packet out like that. Now this edge you're gonna watch is gonna go up and meet my thumb. So it's important that you keep your thumb here. You've now freed up space for your thumb. And when you push this up, if you guys have ever done flicker shot like this, or like I do it with my index finger, but if you meet the grip like this, then you'll figure out that it's kind of a similar uh, hold where you're kind of holding close to the corners of the deck. So your thumb will be, if you push that up, so you uncurl your fingers, uh, your middle finger might be doing the most work on the uncurl upwards, excuse me, um, and pushing the deck up like this. Uh, I, you can use your, in, your ring and your middle to do this, but I typically, once I've gotten the curl, my index finger does the most pushing from underneath, if you guys can see that, like that. And then this should slide out. What's gonna happen is this corner up here is going to run into your thumb, and that's how you're going to be able to regrip that packet. So it's going to look like this, uncurl, push up. This side is going to meet the thumb here when you're done pushing. And now you can grip this packet with just the index and the thumb while this packet is now independent. So now that we're there, we have uncurled the packet here like this. Your middle finger can keep pushing out. You're going to want to push it up into a position where it reaches the thumb. And when the thumb makes contact, this long side clears this whole corner. So this deck can come back down and you can move this packet back down with your middle and ring. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, but you guys have probably done something like this before. If you've ever learned the scissor cut, which I've taught before on this channel, you guys can check that out. Your pinky is going to curl down and push and your middle finger and ring finger are going to also apply pressure like this. And you do something mostly with the pinky curling in, but it's gonna look like that. So if you guys wanna practice that, you can take half the deck and just have your pinky curl in and you'll watch and your ring finger kind of curl in too. You'll watch that packet lift up off of the, pa the deck. So then you get to here, you lift up here, thumb and index grab, your pinky curls and that pushes out like this. You want this top short side to clear this, this bottom short side of this packet. So it'll look like this in slow motion. Uncurl, meet the thumb, pinky now pulls up, this packet completely clears that, and you could just end it there. It could be uh, a false cut if you just wanted to do that, where it looks like you're shuffling the deck, but you're really just putting the bottom packet back at the bottom and it's going around. Um, sorry, almost did the actual move I'm teaching, like this. So you could do that if you wanted to, but what I think makes this move so fun, and it does actually shuffle it, is once you get around here to this position, pinky curls in, clears the short side, you do close to what is a Charlie cut. So Charlie is a good prerequisite for this. Your index finger is gonna start pushing up towards you like this and the thumb will lay flat so it can meet it. The pinky uncurls and this is left on top of your index finger. Index finger can come curl out and then you just close it with your thumb. And that is pretty much flip-flop. And so it reminds me, it's perfect for the summertime. It reminds me of just a flip-flop motion or the sound your flip-flops make when you walk on the concrete or the sand and have like flops against your your heel but i'll do it one more time in slow motion and that's the tutorial for flip-flop so a modified dealer's grip with the pinky at the end you go into like the urdenay's grip i would call it you curl these fingers under thumb goes at the top however is comfortable to get this pinky curls at the bottom middle and ring curl underneath to get this weird grip index grabs about a third or fourth whatever's comfortable middle finger starts pushing the packet up sliding it along the bottom side of, the, of this packet, meets with the thumb, make sure you clear it so this can go backwards, pinky curls in, oop, I'll move this card out of the way, pinky curls in so that this short side gets cleared and can now lay down. Then in this position, you hold the pinky curled in, your index finger pushes up like this to meet with the thumb and grab it if you can, uncurl the pinky so it leans down on your index finger, 
you can uncurl or keep curling in your index finger and then move it outside and then close it with your thumb. I noticed that that might be a little complicated for you guys if you don't know what you're doing with your index finger. So when you get to ooh, this position, what you can do is you curl your index finger all the way in, move it off the deck since it's laying on the pinky down here, and move it outwards like that, and then you can close. Which is why your thumb lays up like this. So it can close. So it can stay there in that motion like that. And then if you really want to, you can move your index finger up to the thumb. Your index finger can get out of the way, and then your thumb can hold it till it lets go. Um, but I'll do that one more time in slow motion just so you can kind of see what that looks like in the flow of mine. And guys, that is how you do flip flop. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial, and I will shoot it to myself in the outro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the tutorial for Flip Flop. I hope you guys had a blast. Remember, cardistry is a hard art form, so if you weren't getting it the first time, please practice this over and over and over again. Watch the video, listen to the words that I'm using specifically, and watch my video carefully. So if I mistake something and say something wrong, you can watch my finger placement to how I'm doing it. So I hope you guys really like this tutorial. If you haven't seen Frankie already, then this is a fantastic prerequisite to go learn that, and I'll tag that one at the end of this video so you guys can go check out my tutorial over Frankie. It's super, also super fun move but uh without further ado let's jump into some housekeeping so i work for xdex.com if you guys don't know that already that's what i work for x hyphen dex i always throw it up on the screen um, we sell we resell rare decks of playing cards we sell our own playing cards like the lo-fi deck that is now uh, on kickstarter so you guys can go check that out and our sukuyomi deck we've also made it's our japanese one our japanese themed one and it's also in our shop for you to buy so you guys can check that out uh, we resell other rare decks of playing cards so fontaines anyone's gemini's opc uh, riffle shuffle if you guys are looking for a deck that may not be on the market that's gone out of stock please check our store and we might have it still so a lot of people find that we have a lot of cards left over that you guys may not have that you want for your collection so please check out our site also you can check us out at xdex rare cards on instagram you can follow us um, i always respond to comments on the instagram page and the youtube channel so if you comment or dm um, i'll always be replying and you can talk to me personally so thank you so much for doing that and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that is part of how you win the giveaway, but also it really helps us grow and get in front of more faces. And I want to see um, who else I can teach cardistry. There are uh, all there are multiple, I should say, visions of what I have for cardistry out there and how I can teach more people to do it. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you uh, want to record a video of you doing it, you can tag us on Instagram at xdexrarecards, and I would love to view it, tag me in it. I want to see it. I want to comment on it. I want to like it. So uh, please do that. And uh, I don't think I have anything else. So please just enter the giveaway if you want to win a deck of our, our boom box over here uh, that plays music. See the, the beginning of the video if you didn't see that. Um, and just like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And you'll be entered into the giveaway um yeah if you guys haven't already go check out the lo-fi kickstarter buy some of those there's a link in the description um you don't have to but obviously we'd love the support and uh yeah just want to thank you guys uh, i'm really excited to teach cardistry and even today the day i'm shooting i got to go do some close-up magic for some kids at a church camp so uh, that's really exciting and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching